Well, 94.9 FML with Luke and Michelle, where we confront the great social questions of the day in a feature we call... Okay, okay. or not, not, not okay. okay on FML. And Benny's got an okay or not okay for us. Benny, what's, uh, what happened? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, I was flying back here to uh, Salt Lake City from uh, back east from Charlotte, right? And I, I was sleeping in the middle seat between two people, right? And uh, I I love sleeping on planes, right? Because there's not much to do, so why not sleep? Sure. Okay. So uh, this uh, flight attendant came by for drink orders, apparently, and the 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 guy in the window seat woke me up to ask me for my drink order. And I think one of the reasons he woke me up is because I was in the middle seat. You know, so the flight attendant was going to have to reach over me anyway to give him his drink. Uh, so I, I guess he thought that he was trying to save me from being, you know, woken up by the flight attendant. But in the process, he woke me up, so he became the douche, you know? <laughs> so you're not okay so, with uh, being uh, <laughs> Yes. Are, are you asking yeah. whether or not it's okay or not okay to wake someone up for that reason? Like, yeah. hey, they're taking drink orders. Yeah, and- it is, is it okay or not okay for him to wake me up? Because I think that he can wake me up for a selfish reason that he needed his drink, you know? So, like, I, I don't know. He might have been wake me up for a favor. Anyway, I, I was awoke, so I went ahead and, and got the Coke Zero. You know, so because I'm watching my weight. Okay. So. <laughs> sure. Well, but I got to keep those pounds off. I think this is a very yeah. good question, and I like that. I like that you took it to his selfish reasons or not. Now, I think that sleep on a plane is far more valuable than a free Coke or a uh, old bag of pretzels or peanuts. However, the cookies they give out on Delta are bomb. But still. We would have rather have slept. And I think if you were to be woken up, you would have said to the guy, hey, look, I'm going to take a nap, but I really want to drink and some pretzels, so wake me up when the flight attendant comes. Exactly. I, I, I did not say that. Right. You know, I was just sleeping, you know, and uh, they, were, they were doing their thing or whatever, maybe listening to his iPhone. I don't know. Now, and you know, and, 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 and yeah. his his reasoning for, oh, well, this guy's going to get woken up anyways. Now, the flight attendant can reach over, and the person in the first seat closest to the aisle can absolutely take it, and then... You, reach the pa- around you? It is awkward, though, if there's the middle person is sleeping. Just pass it over. If Even if his head is on the... Was, was your head on the tray table, or were you, like, leaned back into the seat? Oh, I, w- I was swing back into the seat. I mean, either way, know? there's room. Yeah. yeah. You, 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 can, yeah, yeah. you can do it. You take care. Okay, so you're saying it's not yeah. okay to wake someone up to take the drink order. What if, see, I was just on a plane, and the guy had already gotten his order, and the, the stewardess came back, and she was handing him the drink, but he was asleep. So then I nudged him and said, hey, your drink is here. And I woke him up because he had already ordered it, and the drink had come. Is that okay? Okay, well... I mean, that that kind of makes sense yeah. because, you know, he already ordered the drink, okay. right? I'm, I'm going to get a so. little sign to hang from my neck, like little laminated thing that gives the rules for this. Like, if I am sleeping, do not wake <laughs> me up. And for, at least for me, if I've ordered a drink and I'm sleeping, don't wake me up and you can throw the drink away. Granted, I was rude. However, I still want to sleep. That's, You're going to have to sleep in a way that people can read this sign that's on your chest. Maybe I'll have a hat. Okay. I'll have like one of those trucker hats with all the instructions printed yeah. on it. Just tattoo it on your head. Because I think sleep is far more valuable than any of this. However, I can see in your point, like, hey, if the guy's ordered the drink and hasn't given you prior instructions. Yeah, I didn't want to keep his drink for him. It felt weird. Did you say anything or you just grumbled and dealt? I, I just grumbled. I mean, you know, it's it's a flight. I was sitting by him for another two hours, you know, so I I, I didn't want to start any kind of <laughs> rift, you know, <laughs> but between me and him. But obviously I was bad. But then he kept on talking to me, you know, like, buddy, we're not friends. You know, you just <laughs> woke me up, you know, so... That's too. He Weird. just he wanted to be your friend, though. Yeah, none of this is okay. He is not your friend. He is a guy who randomly got a seat next to you on a plane. This is not an opportunity to become pen pals. So not okay. Not okay. Your feelings are valid. Well, thank thank you guys.
Appreciate it. You're welcome, Benny. Really, all you need to do is take instructions from the way flight attendants act. Does a flight attendant go, Hey, man, I'm serving drinks. What do you want? Shake you by both shoulders, slap you across the face roundly, <laughs> say, hey, wake up. I'm serving now. No. no. They only do that like, hey, please put up your tray tables. We're landing. Yeah. So, like, leave it to the professionals. You know, if you need to be woken up, somebody will wake you up. Don't take matters into your own hands. Exactly. Yes. That's a good way to look at it.